So I'm going to talk to you about um, how to feed your dog. There's lots of different dogs' uh, foods available out there, so you can get them from the supermarket, from pet shops, and from your vet as well. And there are different quality and ranges of diets out there, and it's obviously important to try and choose a really good quality diet because you want your pet to be eating ingredients that are, are very well um, made, and you don't want them to be eating very cheap products out there. Um, there are so many available, it's not really a, a thing I can talk about in detail now, but you can always speak to your vet or your vet nurse for advice about which diet to feed. When you're thinking about that, it's important to consider the age of your pet. So if you've got a growing dog um, or an older pet, you might want to choose a senior diet for them. Um, also, there are lots of prescription diets available if your pet has any health problems, such as kidney disease or liver disease, then there are prescription diets that you can feed for that. Um, the activity of your dog as well, if you've got a young, very active or a working dog, then you may need to feed a diet with higher energy content. Whereas if you've got an older sedentary dog or an overweight dog, um, you may need to feed a lighter diet for them. So speak to your vet for advice. It's a good idea if you can can to include about 50% at least of the ration as a dry food because the dry biscuits are good dental exercise for your pet to try and keep his teeth clean while they're crunching and chewing at that food. And don't add the dry food to the wet food because otherwise the moisture will soften the biscuits and you lose that benefit. So feed that diet separately. Always make sure that there's plenty of fresh drinking water available if you are feeding dry food in particular because your pet will need to drink more if they're eating a dry diet. It's important to make sure that you don't overfeed your pet and one of the biggest ways to obesity in pets is by giving them too many treats and tidbits. Um, and especially with dogs, they can be very demanding for biscuits that you're eating. But it's important not to give them too many treats and to try and just use them as a reward for good behavior or for training purposes rather than just giving lots of, of treats and tidbits at all times. And it's really important to remember that a lot of human foods are a, a no-no for dogs. They're, they're very toxic for them, things like chocolate, it's very bad, raisins and grapes can be poisonous for them um, and onions and garlic as well so do be aware of the, the problems that can arise. If you do want to give your pet a, a small treat then things like carrot sticks chopped up and kept handy um, they enjoy crunching at those and they're good for the teeth as well and for their waistlines. So to check if your pet's overweight there's a couple of areas you want to look at in particular. The first thing to do is to, to run your hand over the side of your dog um, over the rib cage and you should be able to feel the ribs through the side of his skin here with just gentle pressure. If you're having to press really hard to feel his rib cage and there's too much fat underneath the skin so have a feel over the rib area and then you want to move back um, when you look at the side of your pet he should have a nice tuck up in the abdomen here as it moves towards his back legs if they're square shaped or there's areas hanging down here that might indicate that they've got too much fat underneath in their abdomen so you want that nice tuck up here to summarize make sure you choose the most appropriate diet for your dog try not to give too many treats or tidbits or they may become overweight to check your dog's weight, look for excess fat over the rib cage and the abdomen. And remember, lots of human foods are toxic for dogs, especially chocolate, raisins and onions. So try to use healthy snacks such as carrot sticks instead.